Mandy's in the Indian Ocean. <sighs> We've dealt with those squalls all morning. No water coming out. So she's broken? Absolute Barry Crocker of a morning. Benita, our exhaust is broken. Subscribe to the channel as we attempt to circumnavigate the world. After a quick stop off and explore at the beautiful Komodo Islands, we head back to sea sailing towards the sunset en route to Malaysia and our new engine. With lots of miles to sail to reach our destination, we expect long days at sea in the coming weeks. A bit more than two peg weather out here. Number two, since we left Komodo, we're on our way to Lombok. Pretty spewing, because we're sailing straight past the island of Sumbawa. This is a place I really wanted to check out. Never been here before, so I was really keen to have a sus, but it's getting late. We need to get a motor. We've got 1,200 more miles to go. We've got a good 10 knots coming from the south, so it's pretty well right on the beam. It's just forward of the beam. We've got full sail, stay sail, Genoa, full main. Balls to the wall, sailing baby, yeah! It's the morning of day three. Uh, we've got this weird side swell going on at the moment. Nanji's in the Indian Ocean. Nanji's gone from the Pacific and sailed 7,000 miles plus, and now we're in the Indian Ocean. We're clear of the island of Sumba. Um, we're out of the strait, out of the Sumbawa Strait. We're just off the island of Sumbawa at the moment, probably 10 miles offshore. Everything out to the southwest of me is Indian Ocean. So that's probably why we got this side swell going on. She's a rolly, bucky ride, but I guess this is a good taste to know what it's like. This is the Indian Ocean. Seen better days. How do we get through? There's all these big lines of driftwood. Uh, big logs and heaps of sticks and everything all bunched together like big long strips. We really have to keep an eye out to try to figure out how we can get around them. What do you reckon boss? Can we get through there? There is a couple of nice little anchorages and a couple of nice waves at the bottom of this, on the southwest corner of Sumbawa. Super sucks and scar reef and you can anchor right in front of the waves. So if there is a wave, you can just paddle off Nanji. That's what I've tried to do a lot and haven't really been able to do at all. So I think I've just made up my mind and that's where we're going. About 25 miles to get there. It's it's probably like half six or something in the morning now. And we're doing five knots, so we should be there by lunchtime. I might chuck out more heady. Get there by Smoko. <laughs> After having that sweet sour east for the past 24 hours and thinking we're going to arrive to port around lunchtime today, we've dealt with those squalls all morning and now the wind has totally dropped out. So we thought we'd give old faithful, uh, beautiful, reliable motor a bit of a chance. Turned it on and we puffed way more white smoke than normal. No water coming out. So we started motoring for a little bit, but we were just chugging. 10 times as much as Captain Ron. Captain Yosh is just a smoke machine. We look like a puffin' billy cruising down the old steam train sort of thing. Okay? We've turned it off and now I think it's the impeller. So I'm gonna change the impeller in the raw water pump and hopefully that can lift up a bit more salt and we'll give Give our old donk another go. And now we're just rolling and flapping. 17 miles away from our anchorage, so it looks like we're probably gonna end up doing another overnighter and go a little bit further, because we're not gonna to get to that anchorage. Yeah. yeah. And it looks like it is the impeller. Lucky we bought a spare in Sarong, because we used our spare in Papua New Guinea. So now we'll use our spare now, and it's just gonna get us to Malaysia. Excuse the jocks, guys. So she's broken? Yeah, she's cactus. Yeah, that's all broken.
Just as Yosh fixed the pump, a favourable breeze picked up and we went from worrying about not reaching an anchorage and another night at sea to flying up the coast of Sambawa through the Alice Strait towards Scar Reef and waves. Uh, fishing right there. Look a stopper, have it up next to the boat. We can't gaff her. First fish Banana's ever missed gaffing. She's a bloody pro. And when a push comes to crunch, she's bloody missed it. Oh. On a better note, how's that rock behind me? And there's forecast to be waves tomorrow. And it's offshore. And we're going there. <laughs> Being late in the southeast season meant I got to share waves at this popular surf break with only a couple of young local lads who paddled out to join me. As I enjoyed the whole afternoon in the surf, Benita took Marley Man to enjoy the long white sandy beach at Scar Reef. Only returning to collect me as the sun was setting. Feeling rejuvenated from our ocean frolic the previous day, off to sea we go again, continuing west across the Alice Strait to the island of Lombok. We got three days to get around to, or four days, to get around to Gilligeti in Lombok where we're going to pick up our crew member. So we're going to pick her up to sail up to Malaysia because we're going to go pretty well non-stop for the next maybe 800 odd miles from there. So just to have an extra hand on board. But we've got a few days until we pick her up so we kind of go a little bit slow for this next 100 miles. Well, that'll take us a couple of days. That's the plan. Absolute Barry Crocker of a morning. The vibration in the exhaust seems to have, because uh, it was threaded, I should have got them to tack weld it so it didn't under vibration come loose. But it's like we've got, well, the lagging's come loose here. So I think this joint here is loose. And there's a joint down here that's loose because the, the exhaust is rattling. So when it's under load, it's dutching out downstairs here. and Yeah, so I have to take all the lagging off and I'll try to get our big bertha onto it and I'll try to tighten up the pipes without having to pull it all apart and tighten it all up. We're at sea, mind you. We got 20 miles to the anchorage we wanted to get to, but we've got no wind. There's another anchorage, oh, it's just around this headland here, it's about, we're about four miles out of it, so. Well, this ain't great, the exhaust is snapped. Benita, our exhaust is broken. What do you mean? It's snapped. So our, our exhaust is broken in two. So we can't even motor at all? No. Ever? I can bodge it up somehow. I'll have to pull it apart though and see what I can bodge you. Do we have the old exhaust? No. No. What about Jess? Been up since 3am, got to the airport, my first flight was delayed and it got cancelled. So I had to book two new flights and it should arrive into Bali at about 10.30 tonight. Fast boat out tomorrow over to Giligidi and hopefully meet the guys there but I'm just waiting for an update to see where they are. So um, plans could change anytime. Uh, that's the least of our problems at the moment. We're stuck at sea. I think we're gonna have to, we'll just keep sailing and we'll try to get to Giligedi. So we'll try to get around the corner here, but we need to have wind because we've got like a two, three knot current around that headland. Oh my God. So we gotta hope we get a wind what? here. No, we can tie, why corner. can't we tie the tender onto the side of the boat? If it's calm, we can try that. Why can't we do it just in there? I don't want to deal with three knots. We can't get anything in there. Nothing can fix us in there. Yeah, but we're, at least we're on Lombok. If we go around to Giligedi, then we're going to be able to have the labour to be able to fix us. So you think, what if we don't have the right current? If we get it in there, I suppose, I can pull it out. And then we can get it, take it somewhere to be fixed. Yeah. 
And, and we don't have to deal with the currents. Yeah. We know what we're dealing with. Like, it's calm, you know, like... Alright. Yeah. Alright, we're we'll going there. Wait, at least we're on the island. Okay. I'll bodge it up. You reckon it will hold together? Yeah, I'll, I'll wrap a can around it or something, eh? Okay, and tighten it up. And... Can. It'll be fine, just like, as long as we don't hammer it under load. We'll jive and then I'll bodge it up. We might even drop the main and just go in there slow under a heady. Lucky I like to drink beer. I'm gonna to try to put this can around it, I'm not on top side, and I'll wire it on. And yeah, so that should make it hopefully pretty snug. Stop us dutching out the fumes and be able to run it at idle, I think. This little bay that we're going into, it has uh, seaweed farms in it, and we've never been in there before, so we're not sure where they're located. So we are putting the uh, tender on the side of Nanji so we can move around in the bay and uh, avoid hitting things. We made it, we anchored, we didn't hit anything. Uh, this guy came flying out here on his little boat and he started uh, demanding money from us which put us off him a little bit. No, we don't think so. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to go to land now. Just dropped anchor. We're going to head to land. We're going to go and get some uh, phone credits and uh, find someone, who, uh, find a welder who can maybe weld this um, pipe back together. It was late in the afternoon by the time we reached land, but we found some good leads on what to do next. Confident we will be able to solve our problems here, we retired back to Nanji on the other side of the bay. We've been told by quite a few crew that it's not really safe to leave the boat over here. This is a long way from the village, so if people do go on board and try to steal something, no one can really see them. So we've taken on the task this morning of moving Nanji closer. Benita! Uh, closer to the village, but we need to dodge all these bats, all these fishing platforms, because there's millions of them all the way into the village. tricky up here there's all these bad things here these are above the water but there's up in the bay here there's all the seaweed farms which is just like bamboo which is the same height as the water it's basically just these farms that's floating on the water surface so I can see basically sweet FA but we went through there in the tender so hopefully I can remember my line and the wind lets me Right out the front of town. We've got a bit of a mission today. Uh, we're off to pick up our new crew member Jess, and also um, we've got the exhaust pipe with us. We're going to go and see if we can find a welder to put it back together. But it is Friday, so we might be stuck here for a few days, even if they can do it. This goes to show how unreliable our motor is. The one, you know, every time we need to do something or be somewhere, it just dies. Something happens, it's just relentless, you know? So we just arrived to Gilligetti. It's an actual, it's an island, so it's not on the mainland, so you had to get a little transfer boat across over to where we are on the mainland. Uh, has she caught, she's caught the fast boat over, hasn't she? After a few wrong turns, asking for directions, and turning around multiple times, we finally found her on the side of the road. Oh my goodness! Okay, bye-bye! Thank you, bye-bye! Okay. So this is our exhaust. <laughs> yeah, so we need to go fix that before we can go too far. Oh my goodness! But it should be right. Should be right. We might be stuck in this one spot for a little bit. Getting lost once again, we located the marine yard and Steve, the expat who owns the place. We go back in and then back weld them. So none of them go Leaving our broken exhaust in the capable hands of his workers, we returned back to Nanji across the island of Lombok with our new crew member. I then received a phone call from the Australian Search and Rescue. I had a message from our folks who just Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, a text message to say that, they, that you all were all well but needed a hand and what? you someone to contact your vessel. 
I pressed the wrong button. Ah, uh, no, I think you'll find... Uh, we, Jess, we just picked up as a new crew member and she has... She might have pressed the wrong device trying to send her mum a message, maybe. Um, but yeah, we are, we are all okay. Yeah. Jessica's mum might be a bit nervous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just tell her we're sweet. That's right, she was a little bit worried. Okay. No, no, we're, 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 we are fine and we don't need any assistance, no. We are, we're at anchor safely uh, in a protected bay on, on the bottom of Lombok, so we're, we're, we are fine, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 let him. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Oh. <laughs> He's sitting here. Oh my god. Oh, there's three of them in there. <laughs> oh, we can make pizza. We got tomato paste. Maybe we'll get a couple of these. I got three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, laggy. Saddle laggy cut on. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to provision. We've driven an hour um, to get to this supermarket because it's the bazaar supermarket, the big one. And this is the canned food section. This little section right here, it's not very good for sailors. We eat a lot of like canned chickpeas, tomatoes, um, lentils, that sort of thing. And uh, there's none of that here. After spending millions of rupiah on food for the next few weeks, we return to the marine yard to collect the exhaust. With a few directions, the lads finished what I wanted and back to Nanzi we went to find even more kids playing in Flubber Tenderoni. As the tide was super low, I called in some help to get Flubber floating again. Oh. The kids loved it and even helped carry all our gear down to the water's edge. Yeah, so yesterday we got our pipe fix. It was all sweet. We did the food shopping, and then we picked up some ice, and then we uh, put everything in the tender, and there was no pipe. Pipe's gone. So we've lost our exhaust pipe. What do you think happened? We picked up the pipe, we stopped at the food shop, we stopped here to get ice. I could have sworn it was still in the car when we left the shopping mall and when we came here to get ice, there's lots of people helping to take stuff out and put stuff back in to fit the ice in. And I think someone took it out and put it on the ground and we just didn't put it back in. Matahari's the big supermarket, so Maybe it's there in the car park because the girls seem to think there's a garden bed next to the car so I might have put it out and put it on the garden bed but I don't remember doing this. Everything crossed, I know I've been peaking, stressed out, woken up with a cold sore. If we can't find it this morning and it's not sitting in the car park waiting for us then we have to try to get a new one made. Uh, you wouldn't read about it. Yesterday, last night we went back to the boat and then we came back out again to go and see the driver. He was going to take us down to the car park last night. But uh, we got caught in a fishing net. We're stuck 200 metres from shore, 100 metres from Nanji uh, in a fishing net. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it was just <laughs> a big nightmare yesterday. Are you feeling lucky? I'm feeling lucky. It's going to be there. It's got to be there. It's just got to be there. There's cleaning ladies everywhere and they we're hoping that there wouldn't be anyone cleaning up, but... Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, there it is! Gosh! How lucky! Oh my god! I've never been so excited to see a metal tube before in my life! Oh my god! <gasps> I feel really bad because of yesterday, so I'm gonna... Buy Mukrim lots of presents. You were stressed, eh? Hey? Sorry, I was so stressed yesterday and I took it out a bit on him. So I'm gonna buy him presents today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh. So here, I got these for you, Mukrim. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so we found the saxophone sitting in the grass. We've just put him in, so this is like fourth time around on these exhausts, so hopefully that's enough to get us through to Malaysia. 
I'm confident. It's pretty good. It's not, not tip top, but it's pretty good. Next week on Sailing Nanji. We're flying the drone for the first time, not at anchor. We're trying to weave our way out of all those little fishing fads that are everywhere. Um, oh, everybody! Uh, <laughs> They lost their marbles. 9.2! 9.3! Oh my goodness! Woo! Yeah, baby! Bingo.